Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you guys with your second Python Made Easy tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be learning about a concept called variables. Now if, you've, if you're coming from another programming language, um, the concept uh, will be fairly uh, simple or fairly familiar to you. Uh, but if this is your first time programming or you're just learning programming, uh, uh, variables are gonna be a very interesting topic. But it's a topic that you most likely already know, but you may not know that you already know it. And I'm gonna explain this uh, to you in just a second. But let's uh, let's make a scenario. So I know a lot of uh, people are, uh, are interested in video games. Uh, so <clears throat> let's make a video game scenario, okay? So we were developing a, a HUD or whatever, HUD or whatever you want to call it. And we want to uh, display the, uh, the player's health um, in numerical values, okay? So with the knowledge we have right now, we only know of one command that we used in the last tutorial. And that command is a print command. So if you haven't figured out now, by now, the print command just prints text uh, to the console, as you can see down here. So uh, we put the uh, two print, uh, we put the two quotation marks. Uh, the quotation marks uh, specify that we're writing a, a string, and a string is just a bunch of characters, I guess, strung together to make whatever we want to type. So whatever we type inside here uh, is considered a string and that will get outputted uh, to the console. But that, that's relevant for now. We'll learn about strings and stuff um, uh, a bit later on. So let's just say that we want to display uh, the uh, player's health. So currently the player's health uh, is set to the value, let's just say the value is 100, okay? So the player gets attacked by an enemy, okay? So enemy attacks player with uh, 20 damage, okay? So our current health is player's health is equal to 80, okay? So that's simple. So now let's uh, just run this just to, so I'm just going to run this. I To run that, I just click F5. I think that runs in debug mode. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it says player's health 100, enemy attacks 20 damage, player's health 80. So exactly what we put here. And um, um, that's what we see. So now um, let's just say that I want, uh, instead of the enemy doing uh, 20 damage, uh, I want the enemy to do 30 damage, okay? So as you can see, one part of our, our algorithm is messed up. Our player's health is currently 100, which is fine, but the enemy does 30 damage. So now the player's health is not 80, it's 70. So we're gonna have to change that. And we run in and we, uh, we see the changes being reflected. So basically this is not gonna work and this obviously does not work in video games and it cannot work in any any application. You need a way to be able to store values and modify values uh, based on that storage. Now the way we store values is through variables. Now I'm pretty sure in math class when you were learning some at some point when you were learning math or at some point when you're learning algebra, you've probably come across a, uh, a problem that says if x plus y is, let's just say if x plus 3, or sorry, let's say x plus y is equal to 5, okay? That's your scenario. And uh, we say let x be 3, what is y? And then we figure out that y is 2. Okay, so basically when they say let x be 3, that is essentially what a variable is actually doing uh, in Python. So the way we create a variable is like this. So we specify the name of our variable, we put the equal, and then we put whatever value we want to. So we can put the value 100. So this is essentially in uh, shorter terms saying let health be 
100. That is essentially what it's saying. So, um, before we even continue, there are certain rules that, uh, there are certain rules when it comes to actually defining uh, a variable name. Firstly, a variable name can only start with a letter or an underscore. It can't start with a number, it can't start with anything like that. If you do a number, you'll see a red squiggly line is, and it says end of statement expected. And as I mentioned in the first tutorial, this is an integrated development environment. And as I told you, there's some fancy things that help you program or uh, help with the efficiency. This is one of them. So it will actually highlight your errors for you and it can at least tell you what your error is and sort of help you find uh, the problem. So anyways, we can't start with a number. We have to either start with a letter or an underscore. After the first character is placed, we can follow by putting any alphanumerical characters. We can put any letter, we can put any number we want in there or any underscores, right? So that's uh, the second rule. The third rule is that um, in Python, variable names are case sensitive, okay? So this variable is different than this. There are two different variables, right? Because the casing is different. So that's one thing to know. This is the third rule. The last rule is that you cannot use any reserved words. So I can't use like the word print as a variable name because that is a reserved word for Python, right? So we can't use any of those reserved words. So if you follow those four guidelines that a variable name must start with a letter or underscore after the first character, you can add any alphanumerical character or underscore. It is case, uh, the variable name is case sensitive and you don't use any reserved words, then you've got yourself a variable. Cool. So we've created a variable called health and we've uh, specified the value 100. Now the print uh, function, this is what this is, allows us to actually display the value that is held within a variable. So think of the variable as a storage container. Okay, so the value 100 is stored inside this identifier health. And whenever we call this identifier, it gives us the value inside it. So we're just going to put a comma and we're going to put health. So what happens here is that when we go to print, it's going to say player's health, right? Then it's going to say health. It's going to say, oh, okay, this is a storage container. This is a variable. Let me check what value is inside me. And it's going to say, okay, the value is 100. So I'm going to display the value 100. Just to show you that I'm not lying, let's run this. So as you can see, it says player's health is 100, right? And if I change this to 75 or 76, and I run this again, player's health is 76. So by modifying this value, it reflects the change here, which it should. So now we're gonna make another uh, variable and we're just gonna say enemy damage. And as you can see, for the first word I started with a lowercase, the second word I started with an uppercase. This is called camel case. Uh, there's different styles that people use for variable naming convention. Um, but this is a very popular one, and it's one that I'm used to. Um, but feel free to do whichever one you want. So I'm gonna say 30, okay? So I'm gonna set the enemy's damage to 30. So the enemy attacks the player with, I'm gonna put enemy damage, and then we're gonna put a comma there and then write the rest of the text. So basically it's gonna say player's health is equal to 76. The enemy attacks with, enemy damage okay what is enemy damage we're gonna we realize it's a variable what's inside it is the value 30 so it's gonna say enemy attacks player with 30 damage and then it says player's health is 70 which is wrong but uh, we'll get to that in just a second so as you can see player's health 76 enemy attacks with 30 damage player's health is equal to 70 cool so last but not least uh, Yeah, okay, so that covers the spacing properly, sorry. So last but not least, um, we actually want the value to actually be reflected. 
So what we're going to do is once the enemy does some damage, what we're going to do is we're going to say health is equal to health minus enemy damage. And don't worry about this in the next tutorial or in the next either the next tutorial or the tutorial after we're going to cover the different arithmetic that we can do on variables. So basically we're saying health is equal to whatever the value of health is minus the enemy damage. So this is how it's going to work. What is the value of health right now? 76 minus 30. Okay, so that should give us a value of 46. Yeah, 46. And um, so that value is going to be stored inside the variable name here. So when we display the player's health again, the uh, uh, we can just put um, health like we did before. And voila, when we run this again, we want to get the correct value. We get the value 46. So as you can see, everything is done through the handling of changing our variables. So if I were to change this to back to 100 again, and we run this again, all the changes are reflected accordingly. As you can see, right, he, the value is 100. The value here is 30, right? We get the, we say health 100 minus 30. That stores the value 70 in there, and we display 70 there. So with variables, we're able to uh, to store values and able to modify whatever is in the current variable to reflect certain changes in our code. Now, variables are the very uh, basis of any programming language we use. So make sure you know it and make sure you know it well. So I hope you enjoyed this long tutorial. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and bye for now.